Let's just all stare at Tiff while she sets up her computer. Hopefully she does a better job than I did. Uh, 
new model uh, done by our new designer Brian Zhao. Uh, it's the uh, no post style uh, Camry. Uh, yeah, it's stuff with Ken and Mary. <laughs> Oh, this thing is sick. I love this thing. That Merc drag car. I don't know. Who wouldn't love a Merc drag car? This thing is just cool. Yeah. Oh, Godzilla. So here is the recolor of the R33, this time in gray, and it has Godzilla. What better name for a uh, skyline? Godzilla and Godzilla. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you're right. Um, Recolor of the Ford GT race car. That's <laughs> it? <laughs> okay, this one I gotta talk about. Uh, yeah, uh, same designer as... No, no, no. Yeah, same designer as the, uh, uh, the Nopo Camry, uh, Brian Zhao. So this one, he uh, drew the sketch when he has some free times, and the team saw it, like, right? ooh, awesome, let's build it. And yeah, and we just submit to Volkswagen and then approve it. Yeah, so uh, look for it in the, uh, the preview video we have soon. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool here. Uh, yeah, you, you, you'll see it. Yeah. Oh, you guys, don't, don't be afraid to cheer if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, here is uh, Super oh, Coco in the 90s. What was that? Oh, I like it with green. Yeah. 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 So 180SX comes back to basics. Uh, any acceleration span right here? Yeah! Yay! Okay, two. Nice. <laughs> okay, three. Right, three. Okay, three. Alright, so uh, the R3 with the Takiu Deco. So uh, this is the now. And the then will be. Yeah, yeah, the R2. Yeah, in case you can't get the NFT, there's a second chance. <laughs> like, uh, you need more uh, uh, shock on it. Let's do cool. Oh, uh, yeah, a uh, new model, the Nawan uh, uh, Dakar, the uh, Rally. Yeah, uh, you saw the video in the preview, but this is the, uh, the final deck on it, uh, based on the real car, it looks awesome. Oh, yeah. The Viper uh, uh, ECR, so this is the new deco. So, this one I work with uh, our deco designer Andres a little bit. Uh, it was based on the, uh, the Le Mans Viper race car I really like, so we take inspiration on it. And you see the 93 number, that's my birth year and my little logo under it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Pagani, my favorite brand, one of them. But, uh, yeah. Cool colors. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. seven, and this is the recolor version with the Project Mew livery. Uh, so stoked to see the white one coming out around in a month or so. This will follow up shortly in about two or three months. I'm Jordan Coils, and I endorse this message. This is a dark horse for uh, 20, what year? 2025. These are basics, I don't work on these things, but they're not going to talk about it because it's a must thing. It's in, everybody. This year. Look for this year, don't worry. All right, yes, we need some muscle cars in the mix, so we're bringing back the Cougar. Let's hear some applause, yeah! Same as serious GT 
40 mark 4 Dakota uh, Anton oh, my favorite access to elemental in Sam yeah so cool oh yeah new model uh, the classic Lotus type 49 Formula uh, Formula 1 car uh, this one done by Freezer as well uh, so if you look at it uh, Check out the helmet, the face detail on it is pretty awesome. Like to like have very clever molding detail on it to make the uh, goggles, the face detail, and the hands and the steering wheel in one piece. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So Brendan, yeah, Brendan want to bring out the uh, the tribute to Red Lines about the uh, white interior prototype for the F1 cars back in the day. Yeah. Wow. So first release has has the white interior, just like the old old school open wheel Red Line cars had, and then uh, just a little nod to history. Hi. Hi. This is the new casting, um, and uh, yeah, it's a teal super train pack coming out. I hear, I hear clapping for another domestic vehicle. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, so loud. Uh, This used to be called Track and Trucks, and now we're calling it Track Fleet because we want to expand it out and go beyond just trucks and semis and things like that, and start to bring in some really cool cars, like some licensed stuff, like we have the, the Bud Cage, and I know a lot of you guys saw me sign in my sign sheet with that. And that kind of introduced kind of some of this idea where we take a regular car with maybe a trailer or you know something attached, and, and like I said, it allows us to get out of the truck. So this is like a drift style bubble with a lower trailer in the back. And it was inspired by drift cars, by hill climbers, all kinds of stuff. So we thought it'd make a really fun package. And it's a little different than obviously Matchbox because it's got all the drift stuff on it instead of an adventure type of thing. And this is a sneak peek for everyone. So this is gonna be a new one following up next year. Uh, and so it's obviously an off-road Porsche um, with like a Overlander style trailer on it. It's got like a bodyboard, it's got a surfboard on it. And this is gonna be the first livery, which was done by um, Andres on this. It looks beautiful. Like it. Pullbacks, are we gonna share, you wanna go now? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, so I think, uh, some of you might have seen the other one already, but we have a recall on the Porsche 914 Safari. Great casting. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, Mercedes Benz Unimog. Anyone? Yup, yup, I'm here for it. Oh, and uh, Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack. My body. One, one of our designers, Ralph Benitez, this is his car. From spec, and even inside, we have his guitar in the passenger seat. So these next slides are just kind of some redecos that we already have in there. So obviously the Dimachini Veloci, Veloci, Veloce. Uh, so this is a new deco for our Ford Mustang, kind of based on the the drift uh, Mustang that's out there by Ad Advent. No, by uh, what's that? Falcon. That's right. So, and then we have a new Type R coming into some of this. And the new Z, like like loosely it. based on the Nismo. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so this is my baby. Yeah. So the red one just got released um, uh, a week ago. So this will be the recolor. Um, one great thing about this is my dream build, in part say. But also I have, because my mom had a, a 
pastry business, right, catering business. So I have a little box in the passenger seat because I'm late for a delivery and I'm just trying to get it to where it's still. Nice. So yeah. <laughs> So bear with me on this line because I'm actually new to this whole segment and I work really close with Mike McClone and this is kind of his baby. So this is all mid-tier stuff. So some of the mixes we're having coming out. Silver Series, sorry, getting corrected. <laughs> um, so we have like a motorcycle line actually coming out. So taking all of our motorcycle castings and putting them uh, up in the deco and uh, just uh, really kind of upping the style of them and coming out with a whole line of them. And then we've also got, um, what is this next one here? I guess it's just mix five. <laughs> so, and all these are gonna be, like I said, plussed up deco, and it also is getting its own unique wheels too, so it'll be differentiated from our basic line. Yeah. I'll say that Fraser Campbell's been working on a lot of those wheels and they're really cool. Like I love the plus stuff look of it and he's given them. So we're gonna have stars and stripes. Obviously with a lot of Camaros and muscle cars and some variety type cars with that type of gecko on it. Then we're carrying on with our neon speeders. So we've got the McLaren in the line, a big fan favorite. Yeah. So, Just yeah. Good. <laughs> Along with the Cadillac. And then we're going to still continue with our Ultra Hot line. So, again, uh, our picking castings that we know that are popular out there Nissan Skyline, the Custom Volkswagen, and obviously the Porsche. And then we're carrying on the Vintage Racing Club. So, this is kind of like pre 74 race cars and stuff, and they're, they're loosely based on stuff that might have existed, but also taking some liberties and changing stuff up, so. Okay, the next is Gold Series, right? No. Premium and gold. So uh, we took we hit the blue for the golf because uh, one of the, our manager like liked the blue golf. So I don't know, I won't say his name right now because yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we call out the uh, S4 Quattro. Um, we did the blue one. We did the yellow one. Now it's the silver one. Yeah, pretty sick. And yeah, we bring back bring, uh, bring back the Brasilia. I think it's the first time having it in the premium. Yeah, just the version. And Supra, uh, we bring it into, uh, we spice it a little bit in the main line before, now it's in premium. Yeah, super spicy. And Alvaro Romeo GDV, so I think this one is one of the uh, fan favorites from last year. And we bring it in the very clean livery. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also a chase. Yes, sir. So, packaging. This is the part of the show where I come up here and talk about my package. Uh, so... <laughs> Why didn't that work? <laughs> so this one's called, um, what is it? World Tour. And um, what we did here, what we did, what I did, it wasn't these guys. <laughs> what I did was down, Jimmy. Um, so basically on the packaging, we, I, I keep saying we because we're a team. Uh, we have um, shown, I, they just want me to keep talking. Um, so anyways, I'm showing where the uh, country of origin of most of these vehicles is, and I put the city of the headquarters of the, um, where the vehicle comes from. Uh, notably, the uh, Volkswagen, um, what's that thing called? Yeah, Brasilia. That one was a little bit difficult for me because I wanted to put that it was German. But then Volkswagen told me that that car was never sold in Germany and it wasn't made in Germany. 
So it was made in Mexico and it's sold in Brazil. So then I had to just kind of figure out which one I wanted to show. So we settled on Brazil. But if you're from Brazil, you're looking at it and you're going, well, that's not our flag. That is correct. We cannot always use flags. So what we've done here is we've used the colors of your flag. And don't tell me those aren't the colors of your flag, because they are. So thank you. <laughs> Detail from the rear bumper and pretty good stance. Uh, our our uh, Master RS3, uh, something special about this is if you look at the, uh, the front window, the top banner, it will be, so you know what it means. No, you won't. Okay, I'll give you a reward, sorry. Okay, so uh, same deco as the uh, RS3 Liberty Walk uh, deco in the real car lineup. Uh, another chassis conversion from the uh, basic car line, the uh, Civic Customs. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. One of the best casting ever, the Valley VZ. And dark blue uh, color, you know what it means, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, it's okay, if you know, you know. It's inside. Yeah. All right, uh, new model done by Mark Jones, uh, the Prince Skyline GT. So uh, we showed the black chase car in a Lamy video, and this is the uh, normal version, uh, the, that's the chase version. Yeah. And uh, me again. Yeah. Uh, so this is Japan Store Explorer. Um, obviously, that means we've done it four times. So I'm trying to always come up with something new and different to do for Japan Historic. This one, I've taken it back to sort of the roots of Japan Historics, um, sort of, you know, reminiscent of Japan Historics one packaging. Uh, something you'll notice on this is I'm trying to make it as authentic as possible, and this time I was actually able to only use the Japanese name on the front of packaging, so it will actually be a Japanese writing on the front of packaging. If you don't read Japanese, which looking around the room is probably most of you, it will still be in English on the back so you'll know what each car is. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. This one, I know, right? Yeah! Yeah. Alright, uh, Datsun King Cab, well, Hot Custom. Um, this one is really fun. Um, hope you like it. <laughs> Oh, and it's part of Terra Check. Um, this one's part of Race Day, Nissan Z GT4. Any fans? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. And of course, Porsche 911 GT3. Rexy and Roxy will be the chase. Thank you. Japanese comic, certain Japanese comic, you know what the car is? Yeah. Yeah. And the Forest STI, new model also. <laughs> the oh, yes. Yeah. 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 A lot of friends in Hong Kong are suggesting this casting to me and we've done it. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then Alpha D2. So this uh, more spice of uh, Alpha D2, wide body, uh, lower stance. And delivery is based on the. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh.
bring the, uh, the, uh, the bench transporter back uh, to single pack, uh, the team transport, and uh, yeah, with the Mercedes Sprinters as well. As well. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, new casting, 300 uh, ZX at GTS, and, and I do this based on the, uh, the basic car 300Z, uh, widen it up a little bit, uh, make it lower at the big wing, and more details on it, yeah. So tra uh, traditional TLD livery on both both car, matchy matchy. Oh, uh, and the new car. Yeah, new open trailer and new wow. DM. I uh, yeah, eighty nine Toyota Supra. I make it a, a slightly wider than it's supposed to be to spice spice a little bit. And Ben did a pretty crazy job on it to make it looks really awesome. And we retool the uh, the chassis of the Foreigner to make it like towable or. Yeah, tow package. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a fry. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's a fry. Yeah. Alright, yeah, totally that's it. What? Alright, Bolivar. I like Solar. Godzilla. Yes, another uh, Godzilla on Godzilla. And we have the Skyline Syndicate R32. Yeah. And then also the 3000 GT in this really cool uh, deep metallic green. And uh, Fiat 500. Yeah! Yeah! It's a sweet, it's a sweet ride! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you look at the corner of the car, it's the 100th Boulevard, so the Lamborghini Countach. So uh, Deco team asked me what color it should it be, so I picked the one from Japan because it looks really, really awesome. And you can pair it up with the uh, the 40th anniversary, anniversary Mercedes and the uh, Cyan in multi pack we just put recently. So it's a trio. Also, uh, we changed the packaging a little bit on this one since it's the hundredth car. So I added a few little Easter eggs. There's a number 100 down for the address on the curb. And then I've also added some fireworks in the sky in the background, just to denote that this is a special 100. Yeah. And here is Larry Chen's Toyota Supra. His chase car in a uh, Yeah. <laughs> Talking. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is the uh, you know Hot Rod Garage with Lucky Costa and Alex Taylor. We partnered with them in Motor Trend, and we're bringing this one to you. And when you see the sample, uh, our graphic designer Christina Albrecht, she just did an amazing job on this patina. It is unlike any car that I've ever seen in our line before. It's, she's up the game, and it is just amazing. I mean, yeah, I'm a casting designer, but I really love the deco the most on this. Even though it has a separate roll cage part inside, really well detailed, the deco on this thing is amazing. You'll see it after the presentation. Yes, you do need more like that. Yeah, so whatever. Oh. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so, so whatever muscle car, uh, hot rock project in premium, I'll give it to Brandon so I don't like screw it up. Yeah, make it authentic. But for the GTM, I'll take over. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Honda Civic FL5, brand new casting. So this one comes with spoon deco, and you might notice that it got only got two exhausts at the back. So that's a spoon exhaust and a spoon uh, rear spoiler. So yeah, it, it spice up a little bit compared to the road car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who can't uh, who can't love this beautiful Thunderbird? It's an amazing car, amazing deco, 80s Pro Street, uh, it's, it's, it's coming back, it looks great. Uh, Audi 2-pack, so uh, 
the new tech for the RA MMS, so we keep it clean, no no more like crazy racing deco this time. And the Corvette 2 pack, we put the Corvette camera in the new deco. Both sporting R star logos. Uh, first one, the S14, is inspired off the uh, 90s race car, and then the S15 is actually inspired off of their early 2000s drift car. So. Yeah. Uh, new casting for the uh, Nissan Premier. <laughs> so, yeah, done by Matt Jones also. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool, like, stand uh, wheels on it, and also the brocage detail. And my favorite our 390 GT1 in matte black. So that's the testing car for the other ones. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, our graphic designer uh, Christina was a big fan of the mini truck. So uh, this was her awesome job on the uh, city truck. Bring back the uh, 80s, 90s bike. And oh, the Porsche oh, to that. New deco on the Cayman GT4. Uh, we did the carbon fiber on the front hood. So yeah, that's uh, 64. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, this another work I, I've done. So my first 143rd casting, the uh, Porsche GT4 uh, RS. Uh, I think you saw it in the uh, autograph session. I hope you like it. And the uh, Model 5 former stand, uh, Phil did it in the 864 before, and now it's the pump up into 144. It keeps all the details and enhances many, many of the details. So if you open the front hood, uh, the, the exhaust and the, the, the turbo details are more crazy right now. They all got all the front parts, pretty sick. And we color of the uh, Corvette C06. A new casting, the Ram 4x4. Is a huge boy. <laughs> oh yeah, Porsche Taycan Turbo S Grand Cross 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 one. It's gonna be matte black. Yeah, my favorite color. <laughs> yeah, uh, recolor for the Mustang Mark one. And it is 64. So first off, we got the 92X Safari. This one uh, was done by yeah, Dima, Dima did it. Uh, it comes with the, uh, the full uh, off-road deck on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is the yeah, Bugatti in the uh, 64. So one of the uh, Mark Jones' final project. Uh, he did a pretty crazy detailed job on this one. Uh, if, you, if you see it in person, it's kind of amazing. And Andrews also, also did a pretty good job on the deco. Uh, so look, look at the details on the interior and the front grille is like, Pretty amazing. So, oddly enough, I worked on this car. So, <laughs> gotta give some love to the other cars. This this one, we um, I used the the original sculpt from the other RLC BMW, the uh, the M3 that I worked on in 1991. So, turned this one into a a wagon, and we had a little internal debate. I wanted to make it a hoodless version. But Jimmy required a hood, so the compromise was to make a removable hood on this one so you could display it with or without. So it's pretty cool. I hope you like this one too. It's a 1989 Toyota Hilux stadium truck. Um, the graphics, also done by Christina. And the cool thing about this is the front wheels are also cambered. And I, it, some of you guys might have seen it in the autograph session, but uh, I had it just in metal without the paint. So this is what it looks like. Wow. Alright, and then so we are also debuting a new series called Mod Shops. And it's a bunch of trucks with a bunch of overline accessories. So here we have the Tacoma, uh, Gen 3 Tacoma. And um, this is actually the liveries based off one of our designers, Kevin Geraldes. Uh, that's his personal truck. And you can see all the different layouts and pieces that it comes out with. So, I mean, you have roof racks, um, uh, 
tent, everything. Recovery boards, fuel tanks, anything that you can even actually add on the snorkel and uh, take off the side here. So it, it's pretty sweet. Um, I wish we had one to share with you, but uh, it will be coming out shortly uh, in around summertime. Yeah! Woo! Woo! All right, so it's just a quick recap. You know, we got our, our vehicle, so purchase it if you haven't already. We've got this orange car that we just sold, and it's very nice Ron Long work on this, so I'm gonna let him talk a little bit more about it. Uh, awesome car, awesome color, my favorite car ever. Uh, but the flight door, first ever in the industry, I guess. So yeah, look at the open angle, look at that box. I think um, you guys can actually still get it right now, so there's really small amount left, but I wouldn't miss on this one. And it, yeah, and if you don't buy it, Ron will. <laughs> so, and this one will be available Tuesday. This is the AMG G63. So high, high piece count, we've got a sample that we'll show you after the show. And it's, it's highly detailed. It's got all the side mirrors that some of you uh, really love. And uh, it's really, really well done, very clean. Then we've got Phil's uh, custom 68 yeah. Barracuda coming yeah. back. Yeah. Look at that. Love American Muscle. And uh, this one, of course, Inspector Flame. You saw it last time at the convention for the for the dinner car, but now, now you can get it in a regular RLC. I'm going to bring Ron back up for this one. Uh, who doesn't love Pagani? Uh, Pagani, so yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah my first uh, Rally Cup project, so. Uh, Last year we showed the first shot, and here's the final deco version. I think we showed this in the uh, live stream uh, last year as well. So yeah, it's gonna on sale later this month or early or earlier this month. R34 Midnight Purple inspired. Yeah, I got it right here. So come check it out later. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful color change paint on that one, by the way. And as you know, one of our upcoming models, we've got the 97 Toyota Supra. So this one will be its first release in blue like that. This is the one with the opening hood and removable die-cast target top. Yeah, nice. So you can see that. And then as, as well as our 93 RX-7, this will be first release in Spectre Flaming Red. And Charlie approves it. And we do have three more models that we promised to unveil. Uh, the final three for 2024, there was an American car and two European cars. So. Most of you pretty much guessed it online uh, if you're following the Hollows Collector forums, but no one got it 100% correct. And the first one is that 2022 Shelby Mustang GT500 Code Red. And that's, that's the key difference here. This is the one where you send your car back to Shelby and they will make it this crazy 1,000 plus horsepower turbocharged monster of a car. It's not even street legal in any state. And I believe Julian Coyles approves this, this casting. So, die cast hood, die cast spoiler, all, all the good stuff from RLC. The next one everyone's been asking for is a 71 uh, Lamborghini, oh, okay, go ahead, the Lamborghini Mira SV. And this one will have an opening collar in the front and the back. We've got new rims that were developed for this, a high piece count detail, and it's got that nice slam stance. I've never seen another Mira in 164 scale that had that nice body over the wheel stance. They always cut the wheel openings out all the way, but this one looks the way like the real car does. And it's got, it's, it's really beautiful. And we'll have a 3D print to show you. And then the last one is 1964 Mercedes-Benz 600. So this is VIP style, it's slammed down. But this is the first time we, or anyone I've ever seen, has pulled off four doors like that in that conventional uh, layout in die cast. So, this thing, when you look at it up close, you know, it's got all the VIP interior in it with all the, the alcohol in the packet and little trays in the back and the plaid seats and, and stuff, and it's pretty sick. So, hope you like them, and we'll have, we have 3D prints we can show you here after the show. Thank you guys so much, and I will hand it back over to Carl. How about 
Alright, some good stuff.